This is Twit. I was going to say there was a big update to iWork today, which was pretty phenomenal. Oh, I okay. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Keynote has gotten live streaming. So you can live, there's a live video object now that you can put in any Keynote presentation and you can treat it like any live object. So it can be just a, like a regular sized object on the, on the slide. It can be the full slide. And then you can stream to that as you're presenting. So you're, it's, it's almost like, you know, like in the video game YouTube where you have the person in the corner talking to you while the, while the, the game or whatever is playing uh, or they just take over the slide or, or or you know anything you want to do with it, you can add effects, all those things. There's also co-presenter modes because they a lot of people call these the COVID releases because a lot of feature sets have been determined by our last two years. But when they can now have multiple presenters, so that you don't have to keep hearing, oh, go like next slide, please. Oh, too far, go back, please. You can just hand over control of the keynote. There's pivot tables in numbers, which I know for a lot of uh, spreadsheet nerds has been too, That's way too huge, way, way too late in coming. Yeah, and one of my favorite. It turns out that uh, I didn't realize this, I, but Pages on the iPhone is their most popular app. iPhone is the most popular place for iWork, and Pages really? on iPhone is the most popular app. And now there's a button, like basically reader mode, so that when you get a Pages document, you don't have to zoom in and out just to read what's formatted for like a normal size document. You just hit reader mode. It doesn't change any of the formatting at all, but it gives it to you the way Safari reader mode does in much bigger, clearer, vertically stacked layouts. And then you can just go through and read the document and check it. So there's just a, a, a bunch of really good quality of life improvements. I love it that they're keeping this this up to date because it can't be a yeah. big money maker for them they give it away and so 11 forth. updates in three years i think they yeah, said yeah yeah uh these updates are for all versions of iwork so if you are, are use iwork on mac iphone or ipad uh you're going to want to update it there's the reader mode yeah i i, I th that was my pick for the week <laughs> so, oh so, oh, so, so anyway so the um but but, but we'll, we'll just we'll just you can just save it a couple well, things you can say more no, no, if fine. you want later okay no i'll just say i'll just refer back to the section you know we, we were talking about it but but the you know the um the keynote updates are pretty interesting the live video in, in, inputs the the um a, you know ability to so give me an uh, example of how you use a live video input in a i don't know like it just got released <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what it is i just i was gonna alex golner uh, tweeted it out uh, earlier he's a friend of mine and, and he tweeted it out and uh uh, so I was like, I'm ex I'm excited. I, I'm just going to talk about it because um, I still think that you know, uh, Keynote is probably one of the most important communication tools ever made. Like it is so effective well, it is now. at putting things yeah. together. Well, but it's it is so effective at building, you know, illustrating ideas, and it's so much more fluid than the other solutions, which I have to use all the time, you know. And so so I have to use all of them all the time. And so it, it's it's not like they're kind of there's three versions. There's like PowerPoint and slides and Keynote. There's PowerPoint and slides, and they're kind of close to each other. And then there's Keynote, which is in an entirely different world. And and so the thing is, is that it is. Um, and so Keynote now has, what it says here is that it's going to, and we'll talk about it probably in the future, but it, it, you can actually put live video into your presentation, you know, and, and you have, you know, some new charts and so on and so forth for numbers as well. But the live video and the ability for multiple people to run, for pe people like me, multiple people being able to run their um, uh, one presentation from anywhere in the world is a big deal. Because we have, you know, we're doing all these presentations for people where you have people in, all kinds of different remote areas and how do you get them all in for the the live video i think that what you can do there the way i read it is that you can have a, a web video or your my six my black magic 6k or whatever feeding into keynote and if i'm screen scraping it and pushing it into zoom or whatever i can have that picture and picture experience that i that i might want you know with what i'm doing so so there's a, it's some pretty cool tools that are built in and you know the pages stuff that the, the new reader looks amazing to be able to just take a pages formatted and yeah. pull it into something that's easy to read on an iphone it's one of the reasons i don't sometimes build things in pages because i know people are going to read it in in an iphone so being able to publish that out and be able to turn it into something that you can look at is is pretty good because again you know pages give you if you if i don't do something in keynote i build it in pages um, because it gives me a competitive advantage. You know, we can talk about whether people have access or what, whatever they want to do. But I usually, when I'm doing a power, when I'm doing a presentation or a pitch, I just want all the competitive advantages I can have. And one of them is that Pages just looks a lot better than Word. You know, and and looks. You know, so if I want to put text in it, the way it kerns, the way it anti-aliases, the way it builds pictures, the way it lays out, just looks a lot nicer. The templates are a lot better, and so it's just getting. You know, so it's a lot better. 
um, platform. People can talk about what they like to use and don't like to use, but your stuff looks better <laughs> in both of those things. And that means that you oftentimes um, can separate yourself from other, other competitors when you're presenting something, you know? And so it's a really powerful update. I was a little disappointed we didn't see any any support for 3D objects? <laughs> That's what I was hoping. I've been I'm always waiting for updates going, are they going to put 3D objects in? We didn't see that, but but the other stuff looks pretty powerful. 